Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back. We are going to be continuing with the glory. So let's get on to episode seven. Ooh. He knows something's up. Yikes. Oh my god, the power of love, y'all. This man is ready to risk it all. I mean, I'd be too if, like, a woman I loved went through that shit and was trying to get revenge. I'd be like, hell yeah, let's do this. Wait, I'm gonna go back. I didn't pay attention. <laughs> okay, so this is the shaman that Kim Enjin's mom comes to. Why is it all girls, though? This is sus. I really wonder what she'll find out from the shaman. I keep the button. Oh my god, so he was the one sending this, the doctor letters. But like, about what though, bruh? Oh, what the hell? Oh my god. He's like detailing, like, he's like writing out the details of the murder and like what he liked about the murder and stuff. What the hell? That will make anybody freaking psychotic. How long have he been receiving these freaking letters? For years now, probably, because he was in the military, right? <sighs> That's so wild. Oh, that's a lot of knives. Whoa. He has that unhinged side of him too because of all this. Oh my god, these fantasies are very, very vivid and detailed. This is not like a new thing for him. Mm. <laughs> You reap what you sow, bitch. Oh, snap. That's what the money's for. Oh, my God. But he doesn't know that Jejun is colorblind, right? But as soon as he figures that out, it's over. Because he's going to put two and two together. Because he's already starting to put two and two together right now. So, oh girl, don't give him another reason. But he's going to find out eventually. <gasps> oh my god, how do you did not know that? That they knew each other in the past. I totally forgot because I was so engrossed in like the way that he was looking at Tongun. 
<laughs> I totally forgot that he does not know the relationship between the two. And now, oh, now, now it's on, bitch. It's on. Game on. Game on. Aww. You're scared. Yes, we did not like that. Mm -mm. Oh, snap. You had one job. And you did not do that correctly. Oh, is that there for him like all the freaking time? Because that's terrifying. Mm. Feels like he's like drowning in this like hatred and rage and grief. Oh my god. Oh my god. 보관함부터 잘 따라 붙었더니 북부 간선을 한참을 타더라고요. 오케이. 그러더니 여명스님의 호텔로 들어가게 돼. 아, 이거 철수래. 바로 하던 과정인데. 누가 나타날게요. The car. Yeah, because remember when she was having like dinner with him, Yeonjin, she asked him like, oh, like, didn't you say you bought a motel under your sister's name or something like that? He said that and I, I kind of just like dismissed it because I was like, I have no idea what she's talking about, but it makes sense now. So he he purchased the motel and then he has like his cronies go to that motel too at night. I'm just putting two and two together here. There's a motel. There's a group of men and then a large group of women going to one place, the shaman, right? And then that whole like shady thing going on. So I think there might be some type of trafficking going on here. I could be jumping the gun. I could be making wild as assumptions. But I've watched my fair share of true crime stuff and I feel like that's where this is headed. That's probably how Yeonjin's mom makes money. She's trafficking women. I think. She's so cute. <laughs> 사모님이 손명호한테 원했던 건 뭔데요? 누군데 윤서희 죽인 거? 당연하지. 다시. 그날 소희가 떨어질 때 손에 쥐고 있던 거야. 그날 너 거기 있었어? 이제 너도 있었던 거지. 혜진이랑 약속 잡히면 전화 줘. 그럼 그날 이 명찰 줄게. Mm. That is so weird. Tongan. <gasps> Hmm. Oh my god. Oh. Mm. <laughs> what the fuck? 
<laughs> she didn't say you almost killed me, but she said I can't like if I burst like a vein, I can't shoot tomorrow. <laughs> wow, the priorities of this woman. Girl, you are married. She's using him for something. She has a plan in mind. I don't know what it is. Oh. He's so handsome when he smiles. Oh, no, brother. You are overstepping your bounds right now. Mm -mm -mm. <gasps> hmm. I think Toyang is starting to understand that everything has happened intentionally. So, yes, Tongun did approach him intentionally. She was there at the go place intentionally. <laughs> Blah. Oh my goodness. Oh shit. Okay. Episode 7. I feel like the revenge revenge part still has not really happened fully yet. But it definitely is getting there. And I think the first step into this really exploding is Hadoyang figuring things out for himself. He needs to know who the true Pagenjin is, and I'm very interested to see which side he takes in this. I would love to see him on the side of justice, obviously, but I feel like the part of him that really values perfection and image and reputation might get in the way of his morals and ethics here a little bit. What I'm really looking forward to is Tong Un and Ha Do Young's confrontation about the situation, as well as Pa Gyeong Jin and Ha Do Young's confrontation about the situation. We only have one episode, episode eight left, until end of part one. So I don't know if we're gonna figure all of that out in one episode. I think it might be part of part two. Let's get into episode eight. Bye, bye, bye.